This beautiful window is made with real lead and clear glass, but it wasn't soldered together. It was created with lead tape on regular glass. And to win a free roll of this tape, a $30 value? Check the description box below on how to enter. If you've been following our restoration projects, you may remember this stone porch as it originally looked. Pretty bad and lots of eyesores, especially this poor sad window in the middle. But making that window look more cheerful had to wait while we used chalk paint on the mortar and we, then we did green paint on the floor and we also did green paint on the gable above. And then we made lots of gingerbread using spindles and some children's blocks. You ought to check out those videos when you get a chance because those are some of our most popular projects. With so many of these other projects out of the way, we finally got to put our attention on that poor window. And what we eventually did was make this sad window look a lot more cheerful. Three ways, in fact, and this is part one, how we made this sad window cheerful, starting with easy leaded glass effects and how you can do the same with love for a country house. To make very realistic leaded glass this way takes a lot of planning. We put more time into the planning than actually applying the tape. We allowed for a line of caulk between the lead and the frame and we taped paper to the window because this was easier for us to measure at our desk later when we were ready to draw the design on a grid. The goal was to make some patterns that would go on the inside of the window. Our lead was applied on the outside, but you, you could also plan to have your lead on the inside if you like. We're going to do that in the future too. The Pabeo tape is about a quarter inch wide and it's made to be split in half if you want. The quarter inch here is used for frame outline and to also make the effect of a brace piece going through the diamonds. The eighth inch width will make the diamond shapes that span the lower half of our window. It's a very simple design to start with, and the Pabeo tape is capable of much more. It's a good idea to study pictures to get ideas for what kind of pattern you'd like to see on your house. And we thought about adding frosted glass and beveled glass effects to our project, and we knew we could do that, but we really love the plain tape so much, we decided we would just make a kind of lead glass sampler and make different patterns for the top paint and skip the glass paint and the frost effect altogether. But whatever pattern you like, working on grid or graph paper is a must. We drew our designs on the computer, but taping together graph paper and working in a pencil will work well too. We didn't regret taking a lot of time to get our patterns just right because the next step, applying the tape, is almost a piece of cake. Here's what it looks like to cut the tape in half. You can see the tape is very soft and malleable. It curls easily. So you want to flatten the strip with the tool provided before measuring it to fit on your pattern. Pull off the backing and align the strip where you want it on the pattern and then burnish it down. Actually, we were pretty clumsy at first until we got accustomed to positioning and repositioning the strips, but after about 10 minutes, we were confident about the outcome, and we really love the way the tape sticks to itself, and it looks like lead soldered together where the pieces cross. And because the lead sticks to itself very well and looks good where it intersects, you don't have to cut tiny pieces or make miter joints, well, unless you want to. But for that reason, it's also a good idea, we think, to extend the pattern right to the edges to go under your borders. Here we're making the full width of the tape into the borders and remember we're going to allow a little bit around the edges so that we can caulk the frame. Do you think you'd like to give this craft a try? If you're watching this video in September 2020, we're giving away a free roll of the Pebeo lead tape, a $30 value. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment with your screen name and where we can reach you on social media. The information will not be harvested. You can erase your comment after the drawing and the winner is announced in early October 2020. Good luck and if you like this video, turn that little thumb blue. Check out our website for artwork and furnishing, steffymccarthy.com and click on the sun logo to subscribe for more love for a country house. Until next time, see you later.